Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Phoenix football on this beautiful Friday. This is pick your team number two, the second inner case from that master case we popped open not too long ago. A very big thank you to all of these lovely people right here for spending a bit of your Friday the 30th with us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Nick Galvin, last bond mojo with the Rams here. And didn't I mark this case somewhere? I did. Remember, we marked it left and right, so there's the R right there for right. Now, folks, it's crazy because we, at one point, we had just so much sports to watch. Now we don't have a lot of sports to watch. I've got Maryland and somebody, Minnesota. Oh, yeah, we can watch Tua's brother, Tua Leah, Tago Viola. I guess we can try to scout how his brother's going to do. Good luck, everybody. Um, schedule's in the chat, Ron. You'll note that we are not doing number four right now. Please check the schedules, everybody. All the breaks schedules are up there. Breaks that we've done, breaks that we are currently doing and then the breaks that are coming up so you can kind of plan out your uh, your evening. I think Nightbot drops it kind of every five minutes and it's also pinned in the chat as well. Thank you. All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. We're going to sleeve and top load all these later, just in the interest of time. That's $2.99. And all card chip in this, ladies and gentlemen. That's a $2.99, Mike Evans. There's Jeremy Chin to $2.99. And our first autograph is Daryl Taylor. Daryl Taylor? Darrell Taylor? Not sure how, how he pronounces it, but that goes to the Seahawks. Matt with Seattle. There's Denzel Mims to 99. DK Metcalf to 175. And we got a J.K. Dobbins rising rookie. Relic and auto, a piece of the pigskin. That's going to Joe Howard, who has the Ravens in the second half of this case. Nice. 91 out of 99. Nick Galvin, he, he, yeah, he needs that last spot mojo. 60% of the time, it works 100% of the time. The 75, Henry Ruggs. Got Christian Fulton. To 199, 299 that is. We're restocking blank cards as well. That'll be good for the shipping team. Hot routes, CD Lamb to 25, and we've got Antonio Gibson, 004 to 149. Piece of his jersey. Going to Mark and the Washington Football Team. We got Michael Thomas pink to 199. Lamar Jackson to 75. We'll see him in action against the Steelers. I think that should be a really fun game on Sunday. 
We got Jeff Okuda to 149 for the Lions. Jalen Ramsey, Andre Johnson. That's not the pile I wanted. Got to keep the the numbered pile separate from the other pile. All card ship though. Out of 99, Andre Johnson. And that was box number one. What's up, Logan? What's going on, man? Gilo, what up? Yeah, Matthew Subfield. Poor, poor Dalvin Cook and Adam Thielen, indeed. Poor Saquon Barkley. Poor Dak Prescott. Poor Odell Beckham Jr. Logan, you can't find one touches from one thing. And you have you checked uh, jaspies.com? What's up, Ben? Gilo, what up? Yeah, that World Series win feels pretty good. Yeah, we haven't talked chatted in a little bit. It, it was it was definitely definitely stressful. There's some pretty pretty good games. I'm really happy about it. A lot of fireworks going off in the area. A lot of people running out into the streets in this neighborhood that I was in. Just uh, kids spilling into the streets, yelling and hollering. So everyone seemed to enjoy it. Oh, we've been sold out for an hour. Sorry, Logan. Yeah, supplies these days have been kind of tough to get. There's Kenny G to 299. DeAndre Hopkins. We've got C.D. Lamb to 99. Brian Edwards to 199 for my Raiders. And Keyshawn Vaughn to 299. Jersey and autograph for Michael Blunt and the Buccaneers. To 299. Got Chase Young, nice Chase Young, cracked ice to 50. Adrian Peterson to 149 reveals a rising rookie, Zach Moss. Nice. Is that a piece of his glove or that almost looks like a helmet piece, right? Six out of 25. Yep, there it is. A piece of his helmet. That's pretty cool. Buffalo! Tony with the Buffalo Bills. There's a Justin Herbert right out here, too. Base card for the Bolts. That's going to be for Adam Kupperman. And a silver Joe Burrow. Nice. Mark Bissett with the Cincinnati Bengals. His rookie cards, I'm sure, carry some strong value in the secondary market. There's Van Jefferson to 299. To his brother, just threw a touchdown for Maryland. Out of 199, Drew Brees and 24 out of 35, T. Higgins. That's a nice patch. Rookie memorabilia. This set looks really sharp. It's, the cut is really sharp, too, on the corners and the edges. That's always nice to see as well. It's another bangle for Mark Bissett.
Is AJ Green to 199? Nick Chubb to 99? And Ross Blacklock to 75. Tyler Boyd Silver. Fire, Forge, Brett Favre, and a Jacob Eason, and a Nick Jaspi. Nick Jaspi's going to help us out. Here, actually, let's turn the camera back over this way to our little cart here. We're going to send some boxes to him, and he's going to help uh, help move that pretty quickly. Well, that's terrifying. Logan, break schedule is in the chat. Tonight or tomorrow? tomorrow? Maybe. Should we have candy set up? How are we? How are we supposed to uh, to distribute candy in this, the, in this in this pandemic times? With a mask, I guess. And like gloves, maybe. Yeah, just like. We have to put it in. They just have to open their bag. We have to put it in. Yeah, like they can't touch anything. Yeah. Those little super spreaders. Little kids just spreading the COVID. Oh, Thomas says you're good luck. So he's just like Thomas needs the needs the. I don't even know if he's in the, even in this break. Maybe oh he is. He has the New York Football Giants. Uh, to his brother just threw a touchdown. A little nine yard reception. Yeah, this room gets so cold it's so weird, yeah. It was like 70 degrees, like, and I turned it off for 10 minutes, yeah. and now it's already at 75 degrees. And well, then, the sun is setting right now. Oh, yeah, and it's just blasting through our window, yeah. All right, and behind, there's a Chase Claypool, 51 out of 75. Rookie memorabilia for the Steelers, EA with the Steelers. Or Pittsburgh, that is. Sorry, I was looking at Minnesota. Out of 199, AJ Brown. The Golden Gophers is what they're called. Out of 10, Dalvin Cook. Nine out of 10. Poor Dalvin Cook. When's he coming back? Is he coming back? He's back this week. Oh, he's back this week. Okay. Well, scary there for a second. I know Madison and Frazier. Matt Lieber. I think someone paid a lot for Alexander Madison. J.K. Dobbins, I think so. I accidentally paid way too much for Rashad Higgins. I forgot to change the number. I spent $21 on him. I need a quarterback, by the way, Nick. Do you have any quarterbacks for me? I do, but Lars is like very insistent on trading for it. So I have Joe Burrow and Tua. Right. Um, Tyler Murray to 299 and Joe Burrow's maybe borderline keepable next year, but he'd be the one I'd trade. I think two is like fifteen dollars next year or something. Twenty-five DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, well, him up as a free agent this year. I'm guessing it's gonna draft him. Theater Gross Mottos to one ninety-nine. So I, I think. Burrow. All right, we'll have to talk because I think what happened was because of all the schedule movements, I now have two quarterbacks on in our two QB league. Two quarterbacks on a buy in week thirteen, and week one better, of the actually. week one of the playoffs. I think 13 is week one of the playoffs. I thought it was 14. Oh, maybe it's 14. Oh, if it's 14, 15, 16. There's Nate Stan. Oh, okay, if it's 14, then I'm okay. I guess I could just punt that week. I mean, I'll know if I'm in the playoffs by then. Yeah, unless I'm borderline. Like you have to yeah. Win your end. But then the yeah. trade deadline is passed. Right. Nate Stanley in Minnesota, so I guess I have to plan ahead. So Joe Burrow, huh? All right, we'll have to talk. There's Cole Komet to 75. But I'm, I don't know. I might make Mitch Trubisky to 149. What? Did you see my email with all the stats? There's no way. A, an 0 and 6 team has never. Has never done it before. Has never. I guess there's always a first. But a 3 and 1 team never sweat. Uh, came back and uh, That's true. Did it. There's Lavisca Chenault Jr. to 125. Colton with the Jags. 
No, we're in a two QB league with like twelve or thirteen teams, Matt Stubblefield. Any any startable QB is off the board in waivers. I guess I should have picked up Ben DiNucci. There's Malcolm Perry to two ninety nine. Instead of Rashad Higgins. I was going to change it to like 11 or something like that, and then I forgot. Now I have Rashad Higgins. I don't know. Fitzpatrick's a free agent. He could be traded and easily. Uh, easily been on easy, it. Maybe be a starter. Um, he's he's uh, so there's another box. There's another box. There. You can see Nick has two more boxes right over there, and then we're done. And then. If you see the schedule in the chat, whatever is next is the one that's going to be coming up next. Which I think is a big hit express break, but don't quote me on that. That's why we have the break schedule. There's upside down James Morgan. He's right side up. Maybe pick up James Morgan. I mean, I don't think I don't think Flacco really did any better as a backup. Out of 75, James Morgan for the Jets, Adam Kupperman. Adam, is the, I don't know if he's listening, but is, is the James Morgan era upon us? Darnold was banged up. Flacco took over for a little bit, a game or two. It was just kind of meh. There's 400 points right there. So if Darnold goes down again, the James Morgan era start. There's Joe Burrow base for Mark Bissett. You get that Tyler Boyd as well. Points usually takes the place of an autograph. And we'll randomize this to one person in the break as a lot if there's more than one points. Hopefully not. Game over, Kyle Rudolph. I haven't been paying attention to these. Are these all game-winning situations? Game-winner situations? Looks like it, maybe. Whoa, wow. Whoa. There was a game-winner... Remember when they beat the Saints two years ago in like week one? And it was like a last minute play? Yeah, I knew that. Like it was a two point conversion. Something like that, yeah. Was, Maybe like Jared Cook not, or something? It was Jared Cook. And wasn't it John Gruden's first week? In every, maybe it was Jack Del Rio. So. I think it might still have been, still been Jack Del Rio. People were like, whoa, Jack Del Rio. Rover, is is Ron Riverboat River, Ron? Yeah, Riverboat Ron. He's like gambling. This is a, uh, a case hit, folks. Troy Aikman regeneration. Get it? As the phoenix rises from the ashes, it regenerates. I don't know if this is... What does this mean, though? Is Troy Aikman going to regenerate into 20-year-old he, Troy Aikman? He went into the announcer booth. He's back in football. He's regenerated into... I don't know. I think I think Dallas wants... I think the Cowboys would like to see him regenerate into, like, 25-year-old Troy Aikman come back to this team. There's LaVisca Chenault Jr., big relic for Colton. I know, EJC, there's no plays tonight. I'll, I'll have my NFL plays for you this week, maybe tomorrow. There's the 50. Mm. Adam says they also, Jets also have like a David Fails or something like that. Ron retracting messages. I didn't even see what it said. There's poor Dak Prescott to 149. And look at this. Kenny Galladay, one of one. Gold vinyl. Colton Carver with the Detroit Lions. Just a base card, but these always look so cool. Nice. This looks pretty good. Colton, all aboard the Big Head Express. Woo -woo. There's Thaddeus Moss to 299. No, Danny doesn't think that Troy Aikman could handle that that pa the pass heavy league now. He still he would still have Ezekiel Elliott. And a Michael Gallup and a and a Mari Cooper. Is Nick Bosa to 175? Maybe Troy Aikman can come back and uh, and play some defense. Could he play linebacker? 
There's Anthony Gordon to 99. Michael Thomas to 299. Ron Wester, what, what do we do? Dalvin. Dal you traded Dalvin Cook for Clyde Edwards Elaire. Yeah, I th I think the I think the Dalvin has maybe Ooh. Tulia Tagoviola did something cool. He kept the ball, scrambled around, and then 10, 20, 30. Does that a touchdown? And he rushed for a touchdown. There you go. He's looking pretty good. Threw for a touchdown, rushed for a touchdown already in the first quarter. And there's his older brother right there. Three-color relic. And he, we'll see him in action. 44 out of 50. He'll, he'll, be, he'll be in the action in Miami. Miami. EA with the Dolphins. I was going to say, I feel like Dalvin has the propensity to get banged up a little bit, especially if you're in a keeper league. I think getting Clyde Edward Lair is pretty strong. There's DK Metcalf to 50. I was hearing, was it a television broadcast or something like that? Maybe an interview with Patrick Mahomes where he was saying that, that a lot of teams are now, this year, are now scheming against the, the, the big deep throw. There's C.D. Lamb right here that, uh, that Mahomes can make, right? To Tyreek Hill or uh, Meikle Hardman. So they have now backs and line, they've all played a little bit deeper to, to avoid that big play pass. So now they're running the ball more often. There's 149 Todd Gurley. So they're trying to establish that part of their game. And there he is right here. So if that's the case, then maybe you're going to see guys like Clyde Edwards E. Lair get some more action. I don't know how much Dalvin or uh, Le'Veon Bell is gonna gonna be playing. There's AJ Dillon to 299 and Preston Smith. Preston Smith, Green Bay Packers, David Nadler. Yeah, these cards are just not a regular top loader card. This might be a little thinner. Got the rare 55s here. There it is. Preston Smith, Rising Stars. Once again, David Nadler with the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, G Lo saying, yep, Chiefs have been running more at 200 yards versus the Bills. There's Brian Edwards at 75, which is kind of scary because if you. How are you going to stop the Chiefs' offense once that gets rolling? There's Juju Smith-Schuster. Behind him is Chase Young. 83 out of 99, dual relic and autograph for the gifted pass rusher going to Mark Mazur and the Washington football team. Nice. Yeah, it's a live auto. It's a sticker at him, but it still exists. I almost forget what his autograph looks like. He's so often a redemption. I guess Panini was like, we got to bust out the stickers for this one. Can't be a redemption in every product. There's Henry Ruggs, the third to 199 for my Raiders. Yeah, Mike Davis, I feel like, was promising once McCaffrey went down. Was promising like the first week or two. There's Jalen Hurts, Jersey and Otto. Eagles, Arik Hebner. But then, you know, and then I guess people figured out it's just Mike Davis. <laughs> 54 out of 99. No offense to Mr. Davis if he's listening, but I think that Carolina offense definitely wants to see Christian McCaffrey back in, back in action to make that offense click. And Henry Ruggs to 299. Fire Forge. Marcus Allen. There's a Tom Brady. Let's hang on to one of those. And a Jeff Okuda. To 175. Todd, thank you. Um, no. Not at the moment. Until there is. Gilo saying he's a Chiefs guy. He doesn't want to jinx it, but he really can't see. 
There's Lynn Bowden Jr. You can't see the Chiefs losing the rest of the season. That's to 100 for the Raiders. That'll be for John Turner. But Gilo is only worried about the Bucks and the Saints as the as a challenge to his Chiefs. There's Robert Woods. There's Drew Locke to 99. Thanks, Todd. Yeah, it's def definitely a, a, a as a big Dodgers fan, a big big weight off the collective fan shoulder. The Clyde Edwards Elaire to 149. I don't think I, I don't think I realized how much it meant to me until it actually happened. Couldn't believe it. Was Jalen Ragor to 175? I had, I had old old like college friends, their Dodger fans that I haven't spoken with on the phone at least for ages. You know, calling me up and all that. It was great. 98 out of 99. There's Noah Igbino Ganey. Haney. Dolphins. That goes to EA. Yeah, I was going to say, Gilo, I, I, I don't think you expected, uh, you're expecting them to go undefeated the rest of the season. I'll bet you didn't expect losing to us, the Raiders. We're going we're gonna to beat you guys again. Did it once, we'll do it again. There's another Joe Burrow, Mark Bissett. I don't know when the last time the Raiders swept the Chiefs in a season. You know, Matthew, if you look at the uh, break schedule and go to the Joe's Picks tabs, I've got some uh, wild and crazy uh, divisional picks. I only pick long shots for division. I'm terrible at futures, so I didn't want a little bit of schmutz right there, a little glue or something. But um, Here comes the last two boxes right here. And I've got a lot of crazy, wild, uh, long shot divisional picks. Igbin, no, Ron's gonna try to help me out here. Wes, you're saying Igbo Nogehi, Igbo Nogehi. That's Igbo Noaini, Igbo Noaini. I'll have to work on that in the in the mirror. You heard some statistic that the Chiefs beat the Raiders like 13. Yeah, I think they did beat them like 13 times in a row. There's J.J. Watt to 299. I was watching that game, G. I I couldn't believe it. I know you probably couldn't believe it either. To 199. There's Derek Brown to 175. And Darrington Evans for Serenity and the Titans. When's the last time, g that that the Raiders swept the, the Chiefs in a season series? I think that's been a very... Maybe not since the early 2000s Raiders, maybe. There's Amari Cooper to 175. And there's KJ Hamler. Three color patch and the autograph for Denver. That's for Derek Disser and Denver. Chris Maxwell, what's up, boy, Joe? You were right. That Mandalorian episode is better than the last two movies. Yeah, the, the Mandalorian TV series is pretty good. This week brought to you by Mandalorian. 13 out of 30. Streaming now on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> Use the code Jasper. No, we don't have a code. I wish we did. That'd be cool. Disney. Sponsor us. We have we have captive audiences. You can you can uh, you can definitely advertise on the stream. But yeah, it's a good TV series. I hope they don't. I hope it doesn't go too long. Sometimes series go too long and then it just gets watered down. It's James Prosh right there to two ninety nine, and a silver Clyde Edwards Elaire. Adam, no, check that. Kansas City is right above Sam Rail. With the Clyde Edwards Elaire Silver. Yeah, 
DK Metcalf to 175. And we've got a Devin Duvernay, Baltimore Ravens relic. Going to the Purple Birds, Joe Howard with his Ravens. Should be a fun matchup this weekend. Pittsburgh in Baltimore. That's to 149. You know, Todd, I apologize, but we want to we want we want to keep that kind of stuff out of the uh, out of the chat because if one person starts to share their their eBay account, then everyone's gonna want to do it, and then everyone's just filling the channel with that. Sorry, but good luck with the sale. Post it in the fate in the Facebook group. Here's our buy, sell, trade, and chat group, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we want to keep the, the, the chat itself clean of all that. Then people just, just, then they don't even chat. They just drop in, drop their eBay handle, and then they just leave. And then that just becomes, I did already, yeah. And it just becomes too much. There's a base to a Tago Viola. I, I feel like the announcers have, am I pronouncing this wrong? They they drop and they, I feel like they're saying, tongue tongue of Viola. That's how you say it. Hmm. I wonder if I'm right or if these professional announcers are correct. <laughs> Does tongue of Viola? Where's the N in there? Wow. Even Nick's told me that before. Just too much wax in Joe's ears, I guess. There's Joe Burrow to 149, and Jalen Hurts. Three color rookie memorabilia relic going to Arik and the Eagles. Tongo Vailoa. That's to 50. There he is again. Tua Tongo Vailoa. Chris Carson. That's going to trip me up. I just have to listen to I just have to watch the Dolphins game. 99. Actually, that Dolphins game might be on TV here in LA. It's the Rams going into uh, Miami. There's another Tua for EA. Nice. Gilo saying 2012 was the last time the Raiders won at Arrowhead. So that was a crazy win. There's Clavon Chasen to 175. Larry Fitzgerald to 149. And behind Henry Ruggs looks like a Jet logo. Henry Ruggs is to 199, and it's Denzel Mims. There you go. Denzel Mims going to uh, Adam and his Jets. J E T S, Jets, Jets, Jets. There you go. Okay, so 2012. There's eight out of ten Denzel Mims, by the way, Adam. 2012 was the last time the Raiders swept the Chiefs. And that was also the last time until this year. The last time. So it's in the books, Gilo. Raider, Raiders will 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 sweep the Chiefs this year. There's Larry Fitzgerald, and behind him is an Anthony McFarlane Jr., 30 out of 75, three-color jersey and autograph for EA and the Steelers. Nice. What are you talking about, Todd? Aren't You're in that group, aren't you? That Facebook group? Pretty sure you've been in there. It's, it's been around for years. 30 out of 75. Pretty sure I've seen you post in that group. Like with like Rex is in there, Joe P's in there, Arthur, whole gang's there. And the last couple cards: DJ Moore, Len Dawson, and Jeff Okuda. Thanks, everyone. We'll do the points randomizer. Do a quick recap. And then we'll move on to the next break on JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We got more Phoenix in the store, so check it out. 
All right, there's the list right there from Aubrey down to Mark. Everyone has a shot at those uh, at the 400 points. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a six ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times... Mark, wow, 76 yard touchdown reception to Aaliyah Tungo Viola is doing pretty well. Mark Mazur also doing well because you got a four, you got 400 extra points going your way. So there you go. This has some decent secondary market value. Or I mean, you can use it yourself too. I think there's some exclusive packs that the Panini Reward Store often has, so it might be worth exploring. Thanks everybody. Yeah, some nice hits for the Jets, Adam. But yeah, the the Chargers gamble didn't pay off this time. I think there was a Herbert in there, no? The base card, maybe? There's the Kenny G one of one. That looked pretty cool. That's a case hit. No, maybe not. And there was a jo oh, there's the Justin Herbert. Yeah, just base Herbert. Nothing too crazy there. All right. And there's Daryl Taylor right there. And the nice one of one, Kenny G. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This Phoenix brand new release. So go and check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.